Did PA just open the doors for gun manufacturers to get sued for shootings? Well, folks, believe it or not, that's the headline. That's what we're going to talk about here today. And, well, Frico talks from the news bar here. And we're going to talk about a recent ruling by a Pennsylvania Supreme Superior Court. Sorry, a Superior Court. Well, go on over to this side here and scroll on down and get this a little bit bigger here. Uh, there we go. Okay, so this is from penlive.com, Patriot News. Nice uh, gun there, just a little revolver here. And uh, I don't know what, can't tell exactly what caliber that is, but it looks like it's your, it can be way off, but 357 Magnum maybe? A federal law that protects... I can't get a sense of scale of how big that... Anyway. A, a federal law that protects firearms manufacturers from lawsuits is unconstitutional and so cannot block a Pennsylvania family from suing an iconic gun maker over the shooting death of their teenage son, a state appeals court panel has ruled. This is really interesting. So, now, you, if, if all you were going to do is read the headlines you would imagine that they were opening the door for there to be, for, for basically for people to be able to actually sue a gun manufacturer after there's been a shooting and if the gun was used in the shooting. That was kind of what you're probably led to believe and there's been other headlines here that may, well, let's just, uh, let's see, uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do uh, PA court. PA court. Gun manufacturers. I think that's about all we'll need. We can see how they're. Let's see. Controversial federal law. By the way, controversial. You use a word like controversial. At this point, controversial, it's it's kind of like a dog whistle to your little tribe that says, you're not supposed to approve of this. This is something. Listen, whenever the newspapers write controversial, what they almost always mean is they're, they're sending dog whistles to their little groups that says everybody, just so everybody knows, the lockstep, uh, the orthodoxy is this is bad we don't like this so they don't like this they don't like this federal law that uh, protects gun makers from now it doesn't even that protects gun makers it doesn't just protect gun makers from lawsuits it doesn't give a carte blanche protection of gun makers from lawsuits it gives it that protection in a very specific way a protection really that shouldn't need to be there but because we understand the nature of those who somehow have it in their head that a monopoly of violence by a select number of small in number of individuals is the best way to 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 uh, give the small people power right that makes sense these folks they use this tactic to basically they'll they'll sue anything uh, and they certainly want to establish a standard where a gun manufacturer is liable when somebody uses one of their guns in a shooting. That's insane. I mean, if you're going to open up that, everybody, we all understand that the, the chaos that you would put into our ability to manufacture not just guns, but just about anything, because everything would be open up. The gun manufacturers really don't need this protection. The law itself, you could argue, shouldn't even have been written. The law was written in, in preemptive self-defense because of what they knew that these, these gun-grabbing idiots were planning. So, uh, by the way, if you're a gun-grabber, you're not a Bill of Rights American citizen, so please uh, stop watching. I don't support gun grabbers in any way, shape, or form. I'm tolerant of a lot of different views, but gun grabbing is not one of them. Uh, Penn Live gun manufacturer and seller face lawsuit over death of PA teen. Mm -hmm. 
There you go. And there you go. And there you go. Feller face lawsuit. Federal blo judge blocks changes to postal. Oh, oh well, that's a different uh, t story altogether that's mixed up. The lawsuit against gunmaker seller allowed to proceed. Now let's go back to the article. That decision handed down by the Superior Court is most certain to be appealed to the state Supreme Court and could become fodder for a federal court fight. It will. The Brady Campaign, a nationwide gun grabbing group that is working, uh, working for and almost exclusively funded by billionaires. This is the Billionaires Club. They're not. They're not a grassroots organization. This is an ultra, ultra astrotooth billionaire. Do you know why billionaires are sponsoring gun grabbing, idiots? If you're if you're one of the poor that supports gun grabbing. Do you know why the billionaires are supporting gun grabbing? Because they know at some point we poors are going to say we've had enough and we're going to show up with guns. And they want to take away the guns before that happens. They're in a mad dash against time because they know we're starting to figure out all the ways that they've been raping us all these uh, decades. Not all billionaires, just maybe 90% of them. So the Brady campaign, a nationwide group that advocates against gun violence, called the decision a victory for gun right. No, no, this is a victory for gun right. Listen to that language, a victory for gun rights victims. This is why, I, I mean, we, we cannot coexist with you. There will be war. You, you will show up with your guns to take our guns and we'll shoot back. That's the nature of the beast. That's what you have to deal with. I mean, by we, I don't mean me specifically. I mean the metaphorical overall aggregate American. I'm willing to bet. And especially now more than ever after all I've seen these last few weeks. So this is, uh, this is a fool's gold that you're clinging to right here. And said the Superior Court is the first appeals court in the U.S. to find the protection of the Lawful Commerce and Arms Act unconstitutional. Let's, what did they, let's find out what they found unconstitutional. Which is, by the way, it's not going to hold up. And shame on the Superior Court for uh, for even entertaining this absurd notion. The ruling, outlined in an opinion by Judge Deborah Kunselman, marks at least a temporary win for Mark and Larry. Yeah, very temporary, because they're not going to go forward with this. They will be immediately appealed, and this will be immediately shot down afterwards. And hopefully this Superior Court, like if, if, if legislatures did their jobs when Superior Courts make such a such a obviously uh grotesque unconstitutional ruling you immediately uh you immediately remove them get rid of them start over again because those people are not american citizens these are not bill of rights americans now what their 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 case is is that uh the constitutionality of the federal law came into play. okay uh councilman found the act violates the U.S. Constitution by usurping a power that, quote-unquote, rightly rests. Uh, now, notice that they wrote that. Whoever wrote this article said rightly rests. Really? You wrote that in part of your thing. No, no, no. No, no. You needed to not... That needed to be in quotes. You wrote that like that's a fact. That's not a fact. That by usurping a power that rightly rests with each individual state. She wrote that in passing the act, Congress undoubtedly un undertook a radical reformation of the traditional state-federal balance that amounts to federal overreach. The constitutional safeguards that override the PLCAA are the structural pillars of American government. These principles ensure that local matters remain under the law. This is not a local issue. This is a national issue. Absolutely. Remain under the local authority of the states, and they prevent the federal government from becoming all-powerful. Listen, this is about preventing you from becoming all-powerful. This is about preventing states and localities from using unconstitutional, tyrannical laws to try to de facto disarm the American people so that they can rule them from their ivory towers with no fear of any consequence. That's what this is about. Congressional tort reform boards, like bills like the PLCAA have no place within that system. Tort law and statutes reforming it are an exercise of power reserved to the states under the 10th Amendment. Bull hockey. So anyway, she sent the suit back to the county courts for further action. While the Superior Court ruling keeps the case alive, it does not guarantee the couple will win if their suit goes before a jury. There's not, it's never going to make it to a jury. And shame on these people. Shame on you using your dead child as an excuse to try to to thuggishly violate 
the rights of Americans to defend themselves against animals, animals like this Superior Court justice woman who, who presumes, who presumes to give any, even, even a modicum of serious consideration to this, to this absolute, uh, I mean, this is, this is, this is a gun aimed at the heart of every American. The people behind this lawsuit, the family behind this lawsuit, using your child as a as a bullet that you put in a chamber and you aim, aim at the heart of every American citizen, and you have no conscience. I grieve for your loss, but I do not grieve for your using that loss as some sort of justification to murder other Americans. And that's what you do if something like this takes root and you put gun manufacturers out of business. And, and you actually do get guns out of the hands of Americans, you're going to see rape, murder, pillage, and plunder. You're going to be seeing legalized pedophilia in short order. That's, that's what you people are unleashing on the world, you idiots. And you're probably one of us. You're probably one of us, one of the poors. I'm sure you're not one of the Citadelians, and you've been, you've been hooked into this, this horrible false narrative. You, you, you actually probably imagine, bless your little hearts, that you're going to save a child you may save one child, but you'll murder 20 adults and probably many more children. And God knows how many people you would murder in terms of the level of tyranny that government, our own government, will then unleash upon us. You look at what's happening in Britain. You look at what's happening in Canada. SJW is fully entrenched in our land every bit as much as it is in their land. And I mean the, the militant SJW, the, the fascistic SJW. That SJW is fully entrenched in our land, but the ability of governments to totally thug us and start to actually take control over our minds to criminalize thought is significantly limited here in the United States of America. These types of lawsuits are intended to prevent the last impediment to their ability to do what all the other nation states do, to completely own us from cradle to grave, and that's take our guns. So no one should consider themselves an American citizen if they're against human beings owning ours. You want to talk about some, when, when you actually have an American government, once again, we actually have a Bill of Rights-based American government, then we can talk about some 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 measure of, uh, of, of actual, as you say, common sense gun, gun uh, legislation, some measure of uh, assuring that uh, guns aren't in the hands of all of the idiots of the world. There are some idiots that I'd rather not have guns, but you cannot really trust any gun laws in the hands of, of these individuals, these leaders that we have now who have demonstrated uh, consistently more than a willingness to take whatever power they have and turn it into significantly more that cost us our hearts, minds, bodies, and souls. And we're all just fed up and done with it. So this is a no-go. Whatever courts might end up deciding it really, the hearts of American citizens are still overwhelmingly such that when you come to collect, you're going to find guns pointed back at you, I can assure you. It's not going to end well. And, and it won't even ever get to that point, honestly, because I have... Every confidence, especially because of Trump being the president, not that I'm a fan, but just pragmatic, uh, that the courts will not at all uphold any of the, the, the ludicrous idiocy of this uh, horrible, horrible anti-American decision. And with that, I say, well, thank you for watching. I generally enjoy, uh, avoid speaking about gun issues because I, I, I'm very, very... Uh, well, I'm very much uh, sensitive when it comes to the gun issue because I look at it as one of the fundamental canaries in the uh, coal mines. When you lose your gun rights, you, you, you should look for another country. Or if there's no other country, maybe, maybe human beings need to find themselves and find some place in the woods. Just like, okay, y'all, I'm not. Y'all do you. I ain't trying to upset y'all. Y'all do your thing. Just please don't come out here and bother me. Just leave me alone. You know, yeah, let's get a bunch of leave me aloneists and find ourselves some some isolated mountains and just hide out until everybody uh, maybe stops bringing the fluorine water. Maybe I don't know why everybody's so insane. Who knows? At any rate, thank you for listening. Have a great rest of your day because I mean, hey, why not?